Hey everyone, so I've recently been asked um, what jacket am I wearing? Um, do I wear it when I go out shooting? Do I wear it when I go out to the range? Do I wear it wherever? In this video, I'm gonna tell you where I got it from, who makes it, and how much it is. Check it out. Starting at the top then. Um, it's double fastened buttons that connect uh, and protect the zip area, all right? It's got a single internal pocket like a lot of raincoats nowadays. Um, I put my phone in, but it's cavernous. You can put, uh, lose a small child in there, I think, or pheasant, rabbit, whatever it is, it, it's gonna go in there. Um, it's quite deep, all right? That's where I normally put my phone. It's made from um, soft shell water resistant fabric and it's a quiet fabric too. So when you're out, it, it's not gonna rustle or make lots of noise. Um, I like it because it's nice and soft uh, and it is quiet. Um, and some of you may have seen me at the shooting show wearing it. Okay, along with the other hat, the other hat, which uh, I'm no longer wearing. Show purchase, show purchase. Okay, so uh, what else has it got? It's got two deep chest size pockets, as you can see. I can lose my hands in there and they keep your hands nice and toasty warm when you're walking along, gun over the shoulder, whatever it is. Okay, um, got plenty in there. You come down to the bellows pockets either side they are rather large as well, okay? Um, and they do have little ammo pouches on them as well, which is quite a handy feature, all right? Comes down to just put below sort of where your trouser pockets are. Um, so it, it sits quite low. Um, I sometimes just pull it up just a little bit. Um, just tuck it in if I want it a little bit higher. Uh, there's quite a handy feature on it, which I've not used yet. On the back, you can see they zip out here and here. Flap comes down and you can sit down without getting your bum wet or dirty. Not that it makes much difference out in the field. I take a shooting cushion out with me. Sometimes I hang off the back of my backpack anyway, but I don't know. Might be to some people's taste. I got it because it is a fairly lightweight jacket, as you can see inside. It's mesh lined, so it's not a super heavyweight jacket. So you can get a fleece under it and what have you. You can layer up. So if it's really cold, you put a jumper on, fleece on, this on top, nice and warm. Or you can layer down and even just wear a t-shirt underneath it because it's not super thick and it's only got a mesh liner to it. Um, it will do its job in the late autumn or even during late summer, early summer as well, when it's fairly warm, but the weather's not too clever. Um, you want a coat on, but you don't want a heavy coat on. So it works with that as well. I've been wearing this one since know, about August, something like that, August of last year, 2021. So there you go, guys. Um, it's one of my favorite go-to wear um, shooting jackets. Uh, how much are they? Uh, retailing Jack Pike store for around about the 90 quid mark. Some places are higher, some places are lower. I'll put three or four links in the description for you so you can make up your own mind. Yes, it is a lot more expensive than an army surplus one, which I've used in the past, or an M65 jacket or something like that. But it's a lot lighter than something like that. So um, you want to support uh, your army surplus place, that's fine. Um, I personally decided it was time for me to spend a little bit more money. Oh, a couple of features that I left out, all right? So you got Velcro cuffs on them and you've got little storm cuffs as well, which are quite handy when you've got the old gloves on. Keeps the old rain out. I've actually worn it in fairly heavy showers and kept me nice and dry. Um, they are still fairly baggy when 
I like them quite tight, so I've added some stick-on Velcro pads. So as you can see, this black one here, um, so it goes a little bit tighter. It's just how I like it, personal preference, really. I got them off Amazon, and they just sort of stick on the fabric and make it a little bit tighter. Um, but I can, you know, it's put up a ball. It's all down to personal choice, isn't it, at the end of the day? So there you go, uh, guys. Please keep supporting the channel. I do really appreciate it. If you want to see more, please hit the old subscribe button and the old dingly bell and give me a thumbs up and a like as well. Guys, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.